So tell me, why do you need my help? Oh my God, it's horrible. I do want a relationship. I'm here because I want a relationship with my dad. Yes. It's been almost 35 years and he's been kind of in and out. Okay. Through my entire life. Yep. Um, so I either want to fix and repair the relationship so we can move forward or just, I just want to release him and release my heart and mm. just, we can just part ways. So what was your childhood like growing up with your dad? We, it wasn't. It, my mom was a hundred percent there. Mm -hmm. Um, he oh, kind of, yes. <laughs> oh my God. My mom was there. Um, so I, I was raised in a one parent, um, mm -hmm. household for as long as I can remember. Yeah. My dad was always in and out. I remember nippets of him coming in, um, kind of saying hi, or, um, we would go visit him sometimes on the weekends, but it was nothing like Steady. No real relationship. No real relationship. Mm. What does your mom say about Keith? Um, he's not a good dad. Mm -hmm. Um, and she's never spoke negative about my dad until we were much older. Yes. Like adult. When you were younger, did you ever ask about Keith and say, "Where's my dad? Like, why is he not showing up?" As yes, often? all the time. And what happened? What did you get? What answer did we get? <sighs> well, he's living his life. Um, he'll come around. My mom was kind of just kind of kind of protect us from that. Mm -hmm. um, but I was always the one to try and reach out to him. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's important to mention that we asked Kenya and Kenneth's mom, Latrice, to be here, but she declined because she wanted to protect her peace. That's yes. the reason your mom said she wouldn't be here today. My mom did not want to come. Mm -hmm. How did that make you feel when she said she didn't want to be here? Um, I understood. Mm -hmm. my, I, know, I know my mom dealt with a lot with him. My mom was his first. She Or he was my mom's first. I'm sorry. Um, she lost her virginity to him. Um, that was her first love. That's all that she knew. Yeah. Um, and the negative things that he says about my mom, it's, it's, it was hurtful. Yeah, well, Keith's, Keith's fiance, your father's fiance, Ingrid, is here in our audience. Thanks for being here. And we'll talk to you in just a bit. But um, I do want to know, what do you think of his fiance, Ingrid? Um, she's good. She has good intentions, but she kind of need to step out of it mm. and let it be between me and my dad. Okay. We have a text message that I want to see. This is a message between you and Ingrid. Hey, sweetie, I'm here. Thanks for reaching out. My dad has never been consistent, and that's all I asked. I was in a car accident, horrible. I didn't get a text call or anything, so at this point, I'm done, and so is my brother. He acts like we do not exist to him. It's been like that since we were children. Oh, my gosh, I didn't know you was in a car accident, baby. I'm so sorry. Thank God you're okay. Did he ever know? I'm going to ask if he did. Then he's wrong for that, and that's not cool. So it looks like Ingrid wants to be supportive. And this here, this here, she wants to be supportive, but me texting her and letting her know that I was in a car accident, and even if he didn't know, that text right there, he still didn't reach out to me after that text. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So okay. it was like, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is real life for me. Yeah, here you go, love. <laughs> sorry. This is real life for me. This is not for show. This is not fake. I love my dad. He yes. just wasn't a good dad. I'm, I'm a girl. I'm a woman. I, I needed that. I, I needed that. So I know you told my producers that Keith came to the birth of your child. Yes. Um, but can you explain that something happened? He came to the birth, yeah. He came to watch me give birth to my last child. I thought that was like a good step in the right direction. I thought we was, we was good. Um, we was texting here and there. And then he just changed his number. He didn't number. give it to me. I haven't seen him in over 10 years. Oh, wow. And how old are you? I'm 36 now. 36. So he's lost all the childhood years. He lost the teenage years, the me becoming a man years. I'm like over it now, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, but when he did, when I did see him, he wasn't coming to actually see me. Yeah. And, and when I almost lost my life on my deathbed, how could you take two months to come and see me after I got shot? Yeah. I would have been on the, if I found out my son got shot, I would have been on the first thing the next day. Yeah. But the real reason why he came to see me, he was using me as liability. He was mm -hmm. using me as an excuse to his, to his wife now because he came, sat on my couch for an hour, 
We drunk a beer, we had a nice, we had a conversation, that was it. He talking about the same thing about my mom this, my mom that. My mom is, she's married now. She's got a whole hug and she's not thinking about you. It's always you bringing up my mom, my mom this, my mom that. But then when I got shot and he came to sit on my couch for an hour and we had that conversation and he was back out the door, but his, his excuse was to his wife to go see another woman. That was oh. his excuse. So, oh. That was his so excuse. your father came two months or three months after you got shot, mm -hmm. saw you an hour, but it was only just an excuse in your opinion so that he can go see another woman. Yeah, 30 minutes away yeah. from her. Yeah, it, it was, he said that to me. What? You just said I was in a, I was somewhere with another woman. I was in the hotel when I left you guys. You told you me that? Said that? Your so you lying. No, that's a lie. So you lying. That's a lie. Oh my God. No, they lying. First they lying. First she lying on you. First she tried to make it seem they like they a family member that lived 30 minutes away from my town. Yes. Then he finally said. What you mean 30 minutes? I lived four in and a half hours away from y'all. You was in Jacksonville. No, that's where I lived. That's where I went to the hotel that. I don't want to be in Springfield. We live in Springfield. You don't even make no sense, man. That we makes got a lot of sense. I know people in Springfield. I know people we got in hotel. Jackson. Why would you drive 30 minutes to Jacksonville? I know, I know people in Jackson hotel. too. Come on, man. I know but people you're trying to make it seem like, then what you say? I think I'm a sex addict. You don't remember saying that? No, I ain't never said that. that. No, I don't remember saying that. You was a no. liar. That's now, you was a, that's a liar. That's crazy. Y'all disrespect me. Take a seat for me. Take a seat for me. That's crazy. So, Keith, that you, is disrespect. So you live only four hours away from your kids. Four and a half hours. Four and a half hours. And you've only seen them once in 10 years? No. I try to keep reaching out to them. I see them whenever I get a chance. They don't reach that's back. A lie. I'm the one keep reaching. That's why I stopped calling. That's I stopped texting. When do you ever I stopped call? everything. You miss that's because a lie. they don't reach back. That's a lie. They never reach back to me. Mm -hmm. Every time, like when Kenneth's birthday, his last birthday, I say happy birthday. He when didn't say birthday? anything. When my birthday? He didn't say anything. When my yeah. birthday? When, when is my birthday? When, when is my birthday? When, when is, that, when when is my birthday? You, 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 you wow, bro. You I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you a question. Do you know your children's birthday? You can tell yeah, me. Yeah, I'm pretty. I got their birth certificates and everything. Well, what's, what's their birthday? What's, what's my birthday? What's my birthday? What well, no, 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 no. no. We're, we're, not, we're not gonna reverse it. We're not gonna reverse it. No, I'm gonna reverse. As a father, you're the father here, though. So well, as a father, you know. should know your children's birthday without asking them if they know yours. What well, is your children's? I understand that part. I understand that part, but Key, it's, it's nothing it's okay. intentional. It's okay to own that you have made mistakes. Right. And you I don't made know, mistakes. That's and that you I'm don't trying. know their That's birthday. That's all I'm trying to say. You know In the their beginning. Because I'm not leaving this. What is your children's birthday? Yeah. Well, you know, um, I, don't, I know it's in September, you know it now. So you I don't, don't, so I don't you know do exactly know. the day. You don't know your children's birthday. It, it's, okay. You know, it's bad. It's only two okay. kids. Secondly. That's not hard, yeah, that's not hard it, to it's remember. Bad, it's bad that birthday. I don't. Secondly, you're well, saying right now that you have believed that Kenneth is not your child. Correct? The way yes, he disrespects you. I try to respect him all. I gave him numerous, numerous chances. And I'm, I see he don't care. You reach out to me uh, too, He don't Kenneth. care, so... I'm I over reach it. back to you I'm and Kenny it. all the time. I'm over it. It's been time. Y'all never reach back. back. That's what made me gave up. What? what? That so made you... me gave up when you never reach back. I know he's my daddy, but it's it's not gonna change nothing with this man. Yes, it's, not it it's not gonna change. It's gonna change. It's not gonna change nothing. If you just open up to me and stop uh, pushing me away. Uh, how? Come on, I never okay. pushed you. I pushed you, you away in the beginning. You always pushed me away, But I allowed you back in my life because I want that father-son bond, and I figured like, if once I allowed you back in my life, and you still doing the same thing, doing what? I don't want, I'm not, not doing reaching anything. out, not trying not, to be in our life. We, we, we gotta, first, both gotta let's reach get this. now. Let's get this first. I'm not gonna keep reaching, so, you're not reaching back. So Keith, I think it's important, since you are the one who has said, you must, might not be my son, since you're the one who has had doubts in your head, I think it's important that you read this. Okay. Keith, Kenneth is your son. Exactly. Oh my God. Exactly. Oh, man, I love you, man. Oh, this is my son, for real, okay? Now you know. Now you know. Now I know now. Oh, my God. I had doubts, but he's my son. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, Kenny. I am so sorry. I want y'all in my life for real. I'm not going to never. I'm not going to never. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna never wish y'all well ever again, okay? I'm not gonna never try to do that ever. And we heard this. I don't many times, and it's not gonna happen no more. Tell them that you're not gonna give up no more. I'm not he, gonna these ever kids have been anymore. abandoned by you. They yeah, have they not felt, felt what, like you love them, and your only thing that you've been out here has been, oh my gosh, I, I, it's why didn't y'all reach out? Why didn't y'all do something? It is not their job to reach right. out to you. It's, it's the it parent. was never. It was yours. Right. And I apologize for that. It's gonna be different. Tell your kids you love them right now and tell them, and, and tell them why you love them. I love you, Kenneth. I love you because you're my son. 
you always been my son. I, I had problems. I knew I had problems. And I changed. I'm older. And I'm getting older now. I need y'all in my life. And I know y'all need me, you know, all the stuff that I have in my heart. I can let you know things. That so I'm going to stop through. you real quick. Mm -hmm. Because I asked you to tell your SIDS why you love them, and I've counted four I statements in that. It was I, 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 I. Mm -hmm. Tell your kid why you love them without talking about you. You. Okay. I love you because you're, you're a man now. You have a beautiful son. Um, uh, you're going to be doing well because I'm going to make sure I stay in your life and do the right thing and be consistent like what you want me to do. I'm going to do this. Not because I want to do it. I'm going to do it because you want me to do this. Because And it's going to come from my heart. Not just because I'm just saying or, or lying like you may think I'm lying. I'm not going to never do that. I'm not going to be honest with you from this point on. Always. I promise. Same with you, Katie. I'm going I'm to always be honest with everything that we're going to be doing together for, forever from now on. So you gonna call? I'm gonna call. I'm gonna, gonna be reach consistent. Out. I'm gonna reach out. You gonna invite us to things? I'm gonna invite you to we'll things. Be a part of your family. Yes. Okay. Because all of it's a we have a real, real big family, and we all need to come together. Um, Keith, I really appreciate you coming on the show and for spending this moment with me. Um, I'm gonna have you have the real reuniting with your children backstage, but I'm gonna thank you for being on my stage really quickly. Thank you. And I'm gonna come thank you, Ingrid, for being here. I'm gonna have y'all walk backstage really quickly, and I'm gonna just talk to y'all. This was manipulative, um, in my opinion. And you came in for my opinion. I asked your father to tell you why he loved you. First time, he said I statements. Second time, he talked about the things that you've done that are great as a man, and then he went right back into I statements. Mm -hmm. He could not describe why he loved you. And so what I didn't want to do is set you up with some fake hug and some fake thing to say, oh, great, everything's wrapped up, because you need to have the tools to be able to maintain and start to heal yourselves. Right. And so if, no one, if your father can't give you the tools to heal yourself, I'm going to be here to help you to heal yourself. Okay. So your father's not in a space to understand why he loves you. He doesn't know. Your father is also a habitual liar. And so the thing is, these are things you're already aware. So the thing is, is that it's going to be, you need to be cautious about how you move forward. And if he ever starts any statement with I, 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 talking about him, you walk away. Don't argue with him no more. Y'all don't keep begging him anymore because y'all are grown people who don't deserve to break a man to love y'all and tell you why he loves y'all. Right. You understand? Yes, sir. He's the one that missed out on two amazing children. Yeah. I've been here just for a little bit, and I know what children you are. Yeah. He missed out. This is his bad. And even though he's trying to say to y'all, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and them tears came way too quick for me. <laughs> way too quick. Way too quick. Yeah. So please, watch out for the language. Mm -hmm. Be open. Mm -hmm. Be vulnerable. Use your words, but also challenge him. But challenge him with words like, why do you love me? That should be easy. Should be easy. And one day, I hope it will get easy for him. But until that day, mm -hmm. I don't want y'all getting sucked back in with a fake apology or something that's manipulative. And so that's the only advice for you all. You all have an amazing relationship with each other. Yeah, this is my best friend. I know. Yeah. And so this is, where, this is where I want this to end. Because I have siblings. And there was a point in my life where my father wasn't able to do what he needed to do. Mm -hmm. But the person that I could turn to always was my sisters. Yeah. We had each other's back, and to this day, we still have each other's back. So I want you to tell your brother why you love him. Because earlier you said that he has his father's characteristics, and I don't want y'all saying those things to each other anymore. Yes. So please, tell your brother why you love him. Okay. <laughs> so I love you because, of course, you my brother. you always been there for me. you my homie. Yes. <laughs> I love you forever. You're, you just, you're more than you was like my first love, even though my dad was supposed to be that. You, you was that for me. <laughs> tell your sister why you love her. I love you because you're my, my little big sister. <laughs> yeah, uh, I am that. <laughs> she just my best friend. So you see, this is the real love. Yeah. yeah. Now that's how you tell somebody I love you. So y'all continue to keep supporting each other and loving each other, keep protecting each other, and watch out for him, OK? Give each other a hug. Yeah. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Where are you going? I know you want to watch more Karamo, so click here to subscribe and click here to watch more so we can keep talking and growing, friends. I love you. Thank you.